Hey there, fellow gamers, KevinJ2010 here, welcoming you back to some more Pokemon Platinum Versus. As I have to remind you at the beginning of every episode, watch Solar Primal's side of this at the same time. Not like the same, same time, because we're not supposed to be lined up or anything. But remember that he is also playing through Pokemon Platinum, we'll be fighting each other sometime in the near future, so. Yeah, in the last episode, we, we did a lot of stuff. I wanted to get a lot of the preliminary stuff out of the way. So, this is Pokemon Center, by the way. This is where you can heal your Pokemon. Um, I'm pretty sure Empa, Empa my Piplup, which we also got in the last episode, um, isn't too bad, isn't too hurt, but might as well just show you that you can heal uh, by coming here. So, so, now he's healed. It's very easy. Anyway, so we're going to run over to here, to the Pokemart. And I'm going to try to buy some uh, Pokeballs, which there are some. Five is usually a good number to start off with. I always start off with five Pokeballs. Um, we're going to get a few potions, because it's always nice to have, um, you know, some potions. Yep, there we go. Yeah, that's pretty good. I, I think that's pretty good. We'll take an, an antidote. And that should really hold us for now. Um, one thing I totally forgot to do is I gotta go to my options because the text has been really slow. And we're gonna set this to the metal one. And that That's the one we want. There we go. I also like setting L equals A. This is just how I do stuff. Switch this like the settings. Yeah. So now the text is gonna be faster. A lot of it's gonna be easy. Yeah, probably should have handled that off. Whatever. Anyway, is there a way for me to get a town map? I don't know where I get one. Or maybe the guy in the next town gives me one. Oh well. Oh, it's Rowan, fellow is back. Whatever. You know what? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go on. I don't need a town map. I know where I'm going. We're gonna head up here, and we are now in Route 202. The music's the same as the Route 201, but I love this music. Hello, Kevin J. Did you tell your family that you're helping the professor? Oh, I forgot. Oh, I forgot. I forgot. Oh, jeez. I'm terrible. I'm a terrible son. I am a terrible, terrible son. So here we are back on Route 201. Jump over that. Run it over here. Uh, you can skip all the grass on your way back. They always do that with the first route. I'm not sure why. I guess they just to speed up the game. Uh, Mom, you live in this. I gotta stop. It's not a Pokemon LP for me if I don't sing, but I gotta stop. Pokemon LP, take quick rest. We got healed again. What is it? Wow, first Rowan asked you to do something for him. Okay, dear, go for it. Your mom's got your back. Oh, I know, Kevin J. I've got something that'll be useful. Let me get a journal. Um, the journal is every time you restart the game, it reminds you what you've done in the past. Um, it started in Fire Red Leaf Green. But in case you ever left the game alone for a long period of time, uh, it, it helps you out. Um, yeah, expose new things. Make sure but back, come back some time. It's like, oh, hello. Barry's mom. Excuse me, it's my little Barry here. Oh, no, no, he's not. Oh, then he must have left already. What to do? The boy shouted about going on an adventure that he bolted. He was like, I'm going on an adventure. <laughs> Oh, that joke's a little ahead of its time for me. I don't know. He's so headstrong and reckless. I at least wanted him to take this. Not to worry, Kevin J. Deliver that to him. Would you, Kevin J? Oh, really? Would you do that for me? Please take this to Barry for me. You get a parcel. A parcel. Is this is Barry secretly Professor Oak. Is Professor Oak's first name Barry? Is it Barry Oak? I don't know. That's a, I don't know. I don't think Barry is growing oak trees. So, I don't know. That was... But the, that was a great joke, guys. Great joke. Okay. We're gonna run back and we're gonna run into a battle. We defeated. Yeah, we did it. Yeah, we did it! We're good. Level 6. There we go. We're level 6. Did Tempo learn anything level 6? No. He doesn't. But yeah. Anyway. Continuing on. I love this music so much. Oh, I almost got through the route without running into a wild Pokemon. And we're back here in San Gem Town. So now we can head back up to Route 202. It's all the way up here. And now you're going to say, yes, I did talk to Mom, because I did. Oh, that's right, Kevin. I haven't shown you how to catch a Pokemon. No! I don't want... Dawn, please. No. 
Step birds, it's a level two Badoof. Thank God I don't wanna catch that. I don't wanna catch that. I don't wanna catch it down. I don't wanna catch he's got a chimcha. Reminds me of somebody else I know. That you click and you click scratches. It's showing you what to click on the bottom screen, then you scratch them, and then they're like, ha! You took damage in case you didn't know how the fighting worked, because you've already done it like a few times now. The HP is down, go over to the bag, which is gonna point at it, here's the bag for you. And then you're gonna click the Pokeball. And you're like, hey, here's the Pokeball. And you're like, hey, here's the Pokeball! Use! Thank you, we caught a Bidoof. Good job, Don. I hope you like using it, because I know I won't. Okay. <laughs> See, isn't it neat? Uh, because yes, it's... Actually, it's better to lower your target's HP before than I did. It's important to get the Pokemon's HP down as low as possible. Don't want to get a critical hit or else you're going to get mad and you lose. Ha ha ha. Oh, sweet. Now we have ten Pokeballs. That's a good amount of Pokeballs. That's a great amount of Pokeballs. We did it. This is great. It's perfect. Now we got many. You know, I should have seen that coming, to be totally honest. Anyway. So I suggest that we catch a friend for our Empa. Here it is! And it's a female. Now there's one thing we gotta check when we catch it. Oh wow, it's perfect. It's perfect. First Pokemon I run into. This is Shinx. This is our friend. Meet him. Love him. He's gonna be our next he's gonna be our next teammate. Is this Shinx right here? I know. Everyone uses Shinx. Frankly, trust me, I tried to plan out my team as best as I could. But the early game Pokemon in this game are kind of lackluster, and I kinda needed some early game Pokemon. So I figured Shinx would be the best option. So Yeah, so here's Shinx. Anyway, time to throw a Pokeball. I I hate hate catching Pokemon in Let's Plays, because then I'm always afraid that I'm gonna kill them by accident. One, two, three! Oh, thank you. We catch a Shinx! Yeah, this is our first Pokemon. Shinx is always at the Pokedex, Shinx is always at the Pokedex. The extension and contraction of its muscles generate electricity. It glows when in trouble. Give a nickname to the Shinx? Yeah! I think we want to name him. Put an E on the end of the next one earlier. Sheffy. There we go. We now have a Shinx named Sheffy. You have to say it with a cute voice. It's Sheffy. <laughs> I love his cry. Anyway, it's quirky nature, which sucks. I believe that's... Yeah, quirky nature means everything. We got Sassy here. I believe that raises special defense. Which is not bad for Empa. Anyway, I'm just gonna run back and heal, because my Pokemon are a little... a little hurt. But I am gonna switch the Pokemon around. We're gonna put you in the front. Um, one thing I'm glad about for this LP... is, uh... In Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver, um, the game would often switch between your focus being on the top and bottom screen. But in this game, it's mainly going to be top screen, so thank god I don't have to edit that too much, switching top and bottom screens, because that was annoying. It was very annoying to do, trust me. Okay, so we're back here on Route 202. We're going to continue down this route. If you run into any Pokemon, we're going to use we're going to use Sheffy in one battle, just so we can see Sheffy in action. But you've appeared. Go Sheffy! <laughs> I love it. Aw, oh, it's, it's the perfect combination. Go, Sheffy. Here I am. Aw, reminds me. Could have named. Oh, I should have named it Charlie. Crap, my dog's name's Charlie. But I like Sheffy. 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 Because the X sound has to be like a. And it's like Sheffy. It's kind of like Stephanie, except like cuter. I never liked the name Stephanie, to be honest. Don't get me wrong, if you're named Stephanie, I don't hate you. It's just that I knew a girl named Stephanie in elementary school. I didn't like her. I just got two critical hits in a row as well. Good job, Shaffy. You get it. You're already halfway to level four. We gotta get you up there so you can learn more moves, because you don't know much. We're gonna take on this guy. I don't like the, the, the encounter music in this game. It's really, like, over the top and weird and whatever. This is your first trainer battle. The music's a little bit different. His name is Tristan. Tristan Taylor. Is he the guy from Yu-Gi-Oh? Anyway. Throws out his Zephy against the Starly, lowers the Starly's uh, attack. That's the good thing about Intimidate. Um, we're going to fight it a little bit just to see how Zephy holds up, but we can always switch out to Piplup, or Empa. i got to get used to saying nicknames again. Switch out to Empa if we have to. Um, 
get tackled, take four damage. That's a lot of damage. Yeah, unless I get a crit somewhere soon, I'm not gonna really be in a good position here. I'm gonna switch out to Empa probably after this attack. Because I am in. A crit would probably take me out. But we'll see. And it's just gonna ground me a lot, which means I get the free switch soon. Which isn't bad. I don't mind sharing experience either. It's not terrible. Yeah, let's just switch now, because now you're not doing any damage. Go, Empa! Whee! Come back and you switch out to Empa. Empa, whip! Stop growling at me! Stop it! It hurts! Pound. If there's one thing that's as bad as spamming withdraw, it's spamming growl. Yeah, well, double team is going to be the worst, obviously, but... Early game, spamming defense boosting, and you're not even a metapod? Grow up. Just terrible. Come on, Tristan. Tristan Taylor, go get your feet already. Bell. Bound, pound. Take that, Starly. Zephy. Level four. Ah, he did. He gets more attack. Doesn't get any defense. Um, one thing. Um, that a uh, little little fact I can give you. Um, for training Pokemon in this game, physical attackers are actually way better early on because you can actually EV train right here in this area. Because I believe everything on this route 202 gives attack, ex except for Bidoof. I know Starly does, and I know Shinx does. So if you just face nothing but Starlys and Shinx here, um, you'll get a lot of attack. Um, so if you had a physical attacker, if you ran, if you're using Chimchar, Chimchar, Chimchar does really well in this game because it does get a lot of attack EVs. Um, going through this part, so I want to say B Bidoof gives attack too, but I could be wrong. I guess I'll put something on the screen just to say something, but um, it's, it's true, okay? It's true. Um, they, there's a lot of attack EVs around here. Back when I was EV training, this was the route I would use for when training attack EVs because there's a lot of attack um, EV Pokemon here. Anyway, so we're taking on last. I didn't get her name, so I'm just gonna switch out to Empa again. I like trying to get Sefi to fight a little bit, just so Sefi can get a little bit of a... Uh, you have to say it with a cute voice. You have to, you have to say Sefi with a cute voice. Sefi. It's Sefi! Sefi! Sefi. Anyway. Uh, we're just gonna pound this thing to death. That doesn't sound sexual at all, no, does it? And we haven't even made... Pound it! Pound it harder! <laughs> okay. Well, we just defeated a girl, too. Sheffy. Sheffy's level 5, so now he's caught up. And he learned Leer, so now he can lower defense, which is good. Makes his attacks do more damage. Last, Natalie. Oh, she's not as cute as Janice. Janice had, like, nice boobs. And a skirt. And sexy mini skirt. And being self-reliant. We're gonna go over to our potion here, just to heal up Sheffy. Sheffy! Sheffy. And we're gonna continue on. Um, there's a... Can I avoid you? No, I can't. Okay, I'm gonna show these trainer battles just because it's exciting. It's exciting to watch these trainer battles that are pretty much required. They all have one Pokemon. Youngster Logan? Like, oh, he's got a Burmy. He's got a Burmese Python! It doesn't really look like one, actually. Lower your attack. I got really lucky that that Shinx, the first one we run into, had Intimidate. And was female. And by being female, it's cute. Uh, I have a friend, actually, who hates uh, Shinx and its fully evolved form, like with a passion. Because in reality, it is kind of not great. Its stats are rather lackluster, but for going through the game, it's quite good. Electric types are always good for going through the game with. Just because it's electric, you know, you can cause paralysis, it can cause a lot of stuff. Um, it's good. It's fun. Take that, Burmy. How do you feel? You feel nothing, because you're dead. Wow, we're getting a lot... You're getting a lot of experience, Sheffy. You're almost just... You're one level behind Empa now. Anyway, we defeated Youngster Logan. We did it. You beat me. You got talent. Yep, we do. Yep, how'd you know? Okay, no trainers there. I could fight you, but I don't want to. There's an item over here. Oh, I, I, I walked slowly, thinking I wouldn't run into anything. Okay, let's see what this item is. Hey, it's a potion. We got a potion. That's good. And we're gonna... Ah, oh, I was hoping to get out of that. Okay, so we're through that, and now we're into the next town, Jubilife City. Hi, Kevin Jerry, you catch a Pokemon? Um, I think you'd feel a lot safer if you were to catch some more. 
you know, like when you need to travel to faraway places. Oh, I know. Don't you think it's better to know more about Pokemon? Sure it is. I just know the place. Come on. Don't be shy. Follow me. Okay. <sighs> that man. What is he doing? Oh, whoa. That man. Um. What? Mr. How did you know? How did you unmask me as the member of the international police? Huh? What? I beg your pardon? I was just making conversation. Heh. You claim that you were only making conversation, do you? But I know better not to believe that. No, 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 no. You recognize right away that I was someone extraordinary. That is why you spoke to me, is it not? Your power of observation is fearsome. Quite admirable you are. Now, that might... Now that my cover has been blown, let me introduce myself. I am the globetrotting elite of the international police. My name? Ha, no, I shall inform you of my code name. My code name is Looker. It is what they call me. Incidentally, it is the saying, don't be a thief, is the saying, don't be a thief, familiar to you? Sure, why not? Yes, that is correct. Taking what belongs to others is wrong. Unfortunately, there are apparently those who do not heed those words. In Sinnoh, in fact, there are criminals stealing Pokemon of others. I have, therefore, been on the lookout, ha, ah, looker on the lookout, ha ha, for characters arousing my suspicion. Incidentally, you are trainers, yes? Perhaps you can make use of this. We got a versus recorder! We can't use that until we get to, like, the battle tower, which is, like, late game. It's a nifty device for recording a match. I obtained it because it is quite popular these days, but myself, I do not do Pokemon battling very often. It will be in better hands with you. Also, I have a request. If you were to see me again, I ask that you do not talk to me, for I am on duty. Actually, yes, yes, you may speak to me. You must. Not because I am lonely, no, no. I must. Inf you must inform me of bad guys. You must inform me of any happenings. Well, that was an interesting guy. Working for the International Police must be hard. Anyway, here it is. It's the trainer's school. The name says it all. I saw your friend Barry go in earlier. He could still be in there studying. Okay, bye now. Okay. So we didn't do much this episode. We took on some trainers. We got through the roots. We got we caught our new teammate, Chaffee. Chaffee. And in the next episode, we're going to go see what Barry was doing in here and explore the rest of the Juby Life City. The Juby... What? What do you want? Faster is the global terminal. Get me to the gold. Oh, I'm sorry. You don't have any gym badges. The global terminal is off limits. You don't have a gym badge. Sorry. Well, then we can't go that way. But anyway, we're, we're not going to explore that part of Juby Life. But we'll explore the rest of Juby Life here in Juby Life City. Is it Juby Life or is it like Juba Life? I don't know. Whatever. Thanks for watching. See you guys later.